Welcome back. You know what? It's a holiday tra tradition for many, and especially for me and my family. While you buy presents for their families and your families, they're also buying presents for another little boy or girl, and you can become a Salvation Army angel too. The angel trees are wonderful symbols of the spirit of Christmas and the generosity of giving. So joining us live from the tree inside North Park Center is Major Ward Matthews. Good morning to you, Major. Merry Christmas to you, Susan. Thank you. I'd like to know something, Major. How do you identify the families that benefit from the angel tree? Well, we have literally thousands of partners in schools, school counselors, other uh, agencies who pre-identify individuals so that we're able immediately to uh, identify the 50 to 55,000 individuals we're going to help this year. 55,000 individuals. And Major, how much do you think people are asked to spend on each recipient? Well, we, we make no actual uh, dollar amount. The average works out to be about 70 to 75 dollars per child. Uh, we have on our angel trees uh, what the child wants and a, a real need, like a coat, uh, a pair of pants. So you can, you can really help out and not spend so much money that it breaks the Christmas, but it really helps a family. And so do, do are, most, do, are we giving mostly to a whole family or just one member of the family? Well, it, the, the gifts are specific to a certain child. Each okay. of the angels on our tree actually are the name of a child. Tell me some of the things that maybe a child requests for Christmas right now. Well, we, um, we always have a desire for anything that has to do with electronics, whether it's a, <laughs> an inexpensive digital camera, uh, it's a, a, a video game, uh, anything like that, kids always love. And, yes, they and that's do. kids of all ages. But, but we get the basics. You know, you'll, you'll find a surprising number of fire trucks on there and even a, a certain type of doll. So kids are kids. Whether or not they're growing up in a little bit of need uh, or well off, kids are just kids. They want to, to have a toy. And then the parent wants to be sure that the kid's warm going to school. Uh, or has a, a new pair of shoes. You're absolutely right. Kids are kids, and it doesn't matter how much money they have but in each family. What matters is that all kids kind of want the same basic things. There you go. That's right, 100% accurate. All right, now tell me, how many locations are the angel trees? Are, are they all over the Metroplex? They really are. There are 10 malls that host an angel tree for the Salvation Army. And then a lot of businesses host their own angel tree inside their businesses. Those 10 malls can be found on our web page at SalvationArmyDFW.org. And uh, folks can, can shop at the, can go adopt an angel at their closest mall. I know, it's and really they can beautiful. shop right there. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's Major. Great. I don't think there's a better group of people in the world than the members of the Army. You all have been feeding and gifting wow. people forever, and you take very little in return. So I want to congratulate you and say that we wish you, Major, a very Merry Christmas, and we look forward to the ringing bells around the city from the Salvation Army collecting money. Thank you so much. You can get more You're... information about the Salvation Army and find an angel tree near you by going to SalvationArmyUSA.org. Up next, we're talking to a remarkable woman who's beating the odds and fighting back from a devastating diagnosis.